In today's video, I wanna share three of the most common mistakes I see when people are trying to make a career change to something that actually really makes them feel fulfilled and joyful and really aligns with themselves, their life and who they really are and their lifestyle. Thank you so much for joining me here today. My name is Andrea Horvath. I am a career life coach and I help women take control of their careers and their lives to find the ideal career suited to them and their lifestyle. So thank you so much for joining me here. So I want to talk about three of the most common. Now, there's a lot of you know mistakes that I see. And first of all, I want to preface this by saying this, that you know there is no judgment here because I've made all of these mistakes myself. <laughs> so that's why um, I can see, I can spot them so easily in other people when they're doing it because I did them all and I know they don't work. It took me a long time to figure out what career was ideally suited to me. So I'm gonna dive right in. So mistake number one is making a career change without having a full understanding and a full and complete understanding about why your old careers didn't work. And then the flip side, of course, of that being what will work. Because they're, they're, you know, they're just different sides of the same, uh, you know, coin, let's call it, I don't know what else to call it. But, but essentially, when I work with clients, we actually tap into what it is will actually make them feel fulfilled, successful, joyful, energized, all those things. But what happens is when you actually figure out what will work for you, it's kind of like this aha moment of, oh, that's why the other thing didn't work, right? And they actually happen at a very similar moment. And it's actually one of the most beautiful things that happens when I work with people one-on-one -on -one is that they, it's like they're liberated. It's they become liberated. Well, that's why it didn't work. Cause we often bang our heads against, you know, we really get frustrated when we don't know why it's not working. And you might even see people who are working alongside you and doing the same thing and loving it. And you're just like, frick, why can't I actually love this too? right? Well, first of all, we're all different, of course, but it can be very frustrating. So it's this two-pronged thing. Not only do you know what it is to feel fulfilled, but secondly, you also, it frees you. It's like, it's this feeling of liberation. So often I see people will just switch like, oh, I could go over here. I could do this. I could do that. And, and they're not really understanding what it is they actually need that is uniquely them. Totally, there are needs that you have that are very unique to you. There's not anyone else on this planet that has the same combination and blend of needs and talents and gifts and all those things, right? So people will often just switch to something. They are like, I thought it would be great and it's not. So and it gets pretty frustrating, right? Like when you're making switches, you're putting all this effort in, really frustrating and really exhausting. So. I really, really would encourage you not to start making steps and just kind of doing this, you know, hope and a prayer. I hope I've got it because you're going to end up exhausting yourself. And, you know, you might actually have some temporary relief because there's this newness that comes. And I hear it from people all the time. So they have this temporary relief for maybe four or five, maybe six months. And then it's like, oh, shoot, I didn't figure it out. I'm back to where I started. I still feel the same as I used to because it's really the feeling that we're looking for, the change in how we feel each day, right? So number two is that they look around them and they see other careers that are making other people happy. They see it, they're like, oh, that person looks super happy doing what they're doing. Or somebody will suggest to them like, oh my gosh, I know this person who has this great career, they love it. And they're like, oh my gosh, I want some of that and then they move towards that career. But the problem is, you know, go back to what I said in number one, you have a very, very unique set of needs to feel fulfilled, to feel successful. You've got all these different gifts and talents. You cannot sort of plunk yourself into somebody else's career and have the same experience they will. It's like saying, oh, you know what? That person over there is happily married. I'm just gonna take their partner and I'm gonna be happily married too. Like, it doesn't work. Like, it just simply doesn't work. It's a whole different experience. But this is what we often do, because we see, you know, again, I come back to, 
we see that somebody's happy, we see that somebody is fulfilled, we see that somebody's full of joy, and we think that that's it. They have figured it out. Yes, they have figured it out, but they figured it out for themselves. They haven't figured it out for you. So then it goes back to, you know, the number one is getting to the root cause, right? So the third of the common mistakes I'm going to mention in today's video is, oh, this is, this is a tough one. Well, they're kind of all tough, but once you see the first couple, it's a little bit easier because at least you can see it better. The third one is more of a habit. And especially with um, people who've been in the corporate world for a long time, uh, anybody who's had a lot of formal education, um, and this is definitely me, <laughs> this is definitely me, is we can often be really, really linear thinkers, right? And what happens when we're linear thinkers is we only using our brain, this is what we use. Like we've been really, and also really conditioned in our society that our brain makes all the decisions. Well, guess what? It's not true. First of all, your brain can only access certain amounts of information. So your brain can only access things from your past, things it has already learned. And if you're looking for a career that is different, different from anything else, different how you feel, different how you experience it, different how it you know, incorporates into the rest of your life, you don't have the knowledge up here. Because if you did, you'd probably be there already. Like you actually would have moved already. But we get into this place where we overthink it. Like, yeah, and I mean, like I said, I, I have been here and it's, and it's a tough, it's, it's one of the more challenging habits to break. Most certainly, if you've got 20 or 30 years under your belt of thinking this way and living your life this way and making decisions only on your brain, this can be really challenging. But just remember, and that's the key part that is your brain is only accessing things that it already knows. So what do you do instead? Well, you have to start, first of all, tapping into your, your soul, your heart, your intuition. You actually have to ask yourself questions and listen to what your body says. You know, if you're applying on a job, for instance, and you're like feeling like you're gonna throw up, it's probably not the job for you. And your brain might talk you into it. Your brain might be like, no, it's fine. This is fine, it, you know, like, this will be fine. It's a good company. It looks like it's a good job. And it may very well be all of those things right? But if your body is screaming at you, this is not it. It is not it. It is not it. And we will often as humans ignore that nudge, ignore that feeling until we've done it enough times. And we know we've essentially gotten to the point where we're just like, well, this doesn't work anymore. I can't just keep making decisions. It's often we get to that point where we're just like so frustrated and just are just like, I don't know what to do anymore. And that's often when we start to go, okay, like I need to listen to this. And it's scary at first to start listening to your heart, your intuition, to all those things. It can feel really uncomfortable if you're not used to it, but it is like anything else in life. It takes practice. It's like any muscle, it takes practice to get stronger. And the more you do it, and then the more you actually see it works, but you're not gonna know it works until you try it, right? Um, it's, it's trusting your intuition and, and listening to your heart and not disregarding it because especially when it comes to our careers, you know, we've been really taught that there's no place for emotions. And this isn't emotions in, in terms of like being emotional. And that's what we got to differentiate. It's not being emotional. It's listening to your emotions because your emotions are just indicators. They are indicators of something that's going on. That's it. You know, if you start to react and get, you know, emotional and outbursts and do all kinds of crazy things, well, it's different. But if you're just tuning in, you're going, you know, I feel, I, I feel really good about this. This feels really good, you know, as opposed to this over there is like, oh my God, I'm going to, you know, I'm going to throw up when I think about taking this job. Because I know that's where some of you have gotten to. That's how I've gotten in the past where I'm looking at jobs and I'm literally starting to feel sick to my stomach. Listen to that. That is your sign. Your body is so wise. All of it. Heart, soul, like all of this. And then, I mean, your soul's not part of your body, but all of this. 
we give way too much, way too much power to our brain to make all our decisions. And your brain has gotten you this far. And so it's time to, it's time to adjust. If you're really wanting something that works for you, that fits with you, it resonates with you, it feels good, it energizes you, it, it's just you. <laughs> so I hope these three uh, common mistakes I have shared have helped you on your path somewhere. And if you're feeling really stuck right now, um, hope it helps you move forward. If you need extra support, either reach out to me. I'm going to put um, my information down below in the comments. I would, so I'm also going to put my social media connections um, there as well. But if you do want some more, I would just suggest, you know, popping me an email. My email is andrea at andreahorvath.com. Again, I'm going to put that down below. And if you like this video or if you know somebody who could really value from it, please like, share, subscribe. It helps me get my message out there. And like I said, maybe there's somebody in your world who you know is struggling right now and is maybe struggling in one of these places. Please share. Um, I do so appreciate it and I will talk to you soon.